bosses of the high street chain announced they would start consulting with the 96 staff at its Abington Street store this morning. The town center has been shortlisted as one of 14 proposed for closure, though there has been no firm decision to shut its doors yet. Leader of the Labour Opposition at Northampton Borough Council, Councillor Danielle Stone, Lab, Castle, said she was absolutely shocked at the news. With Northampton's drapery-based Debenham store also considered to be at risk as part of an ongoing review of its portfolio and the Abingdon BHS now closed, the town is at risk of losing three high street department stores in three years. Councillor Stone said, I think looking for an anchor store to replace this has to be a thing of the past now, we need to look elsewhere for out retail, we need to be encouraging small businesses to set up here, we need to capitalize on the assets we have got, such as our fashion and boutique shops, we need to be encouraging our creative students to stay and invest in the town, last year, the Chronicle. However, a statement from the company has suggested the M. Retired builder, Steve Boddington, 68, of Dustin said he and his wife both shop at him. He said, we like to see the old names, it's familiarity. There's certain things we can get here that you can trust, things like trousers. Shirts are good value, good quality and you can trust it, I just wonder what they will do with a big unit like this one. It would be a big shame to see it go. Online shopping has been the death now for many high street stores. I like to see what I get for my money, I always hear people say, it's not worth coming up here, and that spreads, and people believe it, old colleagues, Karina Hobbs and Pam Ridley meet up at M. Pam said, I'm going to miss it. I come down here to do clothes shopping so I will really miss it. Karina added, I'm going to miss it terribly, Barbara Dunkley, 76, and her husband Brian, 79, of Dustin also spoke to the Chronicle. Barbara said, they seemed to cater more for the youngsters and the very old, and I'm in between, if we are in town, we always go into Mark's. We have nothing in the town, nothing at all. There's nothing to bring you down. There's either cafes or phone shops, there's nothing of interest to bring you into town for, you need furniture shops. There's nowhere where you can buy material. There used to be a drapery up here and we have none of this, Terry and Eileen Murray of Rushden pop into Northampton M. She said, we used to be very frequent but when I retired I found it too expensive, BHS I used to love. It will be terrible, the pair benefit from living within walking distance to Rushton Lakes. I can walk there, you can have a nice meal there. We had our 50th wedding anniversary due there the other day.